God. Making the switch to renewable energy using wind energy in Grand Bahama. In today's society, there's been about 3 billion 570 million gallons of oil being used a day. And that's a lot, that's a high percentage. And what the issue is today is that if you've looked in the news and in recent studies because of fighting in Libya and so on, so on and so forth, it's been creating a huge turmoil for um, persons or countries that want to use oil. And as you, as you see in the graph, there's about 7 million, um, I guess, emissions or uh, gallons of emissions being emitted into the air each year because of the world's um, petroleum and natural gas consumption. And as you can see, if you can take a look at the graph, we'll look at the other gases or other natural gases such as coal and as well as cement production. And in this graph, you see that this was taken from the Grand Bahama Power Company fact sheet on the actual website. And you can see that some of the machinery used has been taken from 19, being put into production in 1964. And the latest that we have is in 2001, which is Unit 31. And if you look on here, it will be a Mitsubishi medium speed diesel engine, which is a combustion turbine. Um, yeah, and we got some interesting results. 
And as you can see, this graph says, um, do you think that Freeport needs more renewable energy? And according to most of the people we surveyed, people think that there, are, there is enough wind to produce um, renewable energy. And this one says, are you familiar with the benefits of wind turbines? And it was about half and half. Like some people were um, aware of it, and then some people weren't. And then this one says, do you think there's enough um, wind and wind, enough wind for wind turbines to be effective? And um, more people said yes than no, but it was very nice. And this one says, if we use wind energy, do you think that this would reduce the cost of electricity? And again, the majority of the people thought yes. They're very positive thinkers. All right, um, and this graph, in order to reduce your power bill, would you rather have turbines close to your home or far away from your home or neither? Well, according to the results derived from our questionnaire in number 21, um, 21 people would not be bothered by having wind turbines close to their home. 16 people are not willing to live with wind turbines close to their home, but rather further away. And 3 people do not care about having wind turbines at all, as you see from the actual diagram. Um, and then this one shows whether people think that um, we should use more of the unexploded land with wind turbines, which makes sense because there's a lot of free land on the report. And on um, as you see on this graph, wind speed recorded on the south shore versus the island center. The blue line shows the south shore or on the shore, while the red um, line shows the center or in downtown Ramahama. On the side, on the y-axis, we see a wind speed, while versus on the x-axis, we see a trail number. Then, um, um, yeah, and then this is the average of the wind speed that we collected. Um, and it just shows that it's very clear that onshore they have um, the wind speed is a lot higher than in the town. In this graph, taken from one of the weather websites, it's used to show the average weather conditions for the past year in Grand Bahama. The blue line, or the average mean temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, is um, very important to us because it helps us to determine whether it's another form of renewable energy is and can be used on the island. So if there are higher temperatures, that means that there's less clouds, kind of clouds in the sky, which means there's more sun. Therefore, solar powers can be used. So we took the um, uh, record on um, record wind speed, which is used to show that if there was a real busy day or used to show if there, that was during a time of a hurricane season. And from the information and through our investigation, we found some wind turbines that could possibly, or in the future, can be implemented to take up to 60 or even 70 miles per hour. And also, we have um, the average wind speed taken for each month um, over a time period of a year. And that's perfect because most of them are above um, um, 8 miles per hour. And to generate um, electricity for a wind turbine, we need at least 8 miles per hour. And it's perfect because we have um, between 9 and between 8 and 12 miles per hour, 8 and 14, so. Okay, so in conclusion, um, asking every third Bahamian, um, almost half of the Bahamians did not even know what a wind turbine was, or renewable energy in general. For example, we asked an electrician, um, and he actually seemed to know more than a jewelry, sh jewelry shop owner, which is pretty surprising. But we attained the expected answers from our questionnaire supporting the case that wind energy is the best alternative energy source for the future of Freeport and perhaps the entire Bahamas. And also, through our survey, we were also able to derive that the general public is ready for a change. So we don't have any social implications from going on with the wind turbine. Um, although the knowledge on Freeport of wind on wind of people on Freeport varies. It seems like there was a trend between the people who um, may have like worked on the coast or lived on the coast in contrast to the people who live in the center of um, the island. Because um, when we ask people in Arulakaya, 
more said that, oh yeah, we have enough wind for wind energy and wind turbines and everything. Whereas in downtown, lots of people said that there wasn't enough wind, which is right in relation to it. Um, but there's high hopes. 95% of people believe that the introduction of wind energy will reduce the cost of electricity, provided there's no corruption within the company. Um, so wind energy is produced, okay. The installation of the wind turbines will produce short-term jobs, and that will um, definitely be a short-term solution for the economic state that we're in right now. Um, it would also, once implicated, once implemented, it will reduce the cost of electricity, so there will be more money for the people of Grand Bahama, and um, less money to pay for bills, so they have more money to spend on leisurely activities, to buy things, to bring money into the economy, and to liven up the buy sell trade of um, Grand Bahama in general. Okay, so our evaluation. We had a lot of problems within our experiment, but although we got the right results. Um, our main problem was that we did not have enough time. If we were to repeat this research, we could make sure that the wind speed were more than in two places. Um, and we should have actually gone out every day for about an entire month, or even maybe a year, to measure the wind speeds correctly. Um, and because we only measured two places, which was Ohio, which is right here, and the center, um, I think that we should have also gone to other areas to measure wind speeds, such as the, the North Shore, um, West End, and East End, and perhaps even because they have wind turbines which are in the water, maybe, maybe even go out to a bank of um, the island and check the wind speed there. Um, we also did not take into account the altitude of wind turbines because they they don't lay right on the floor or one and a half meters up. Um, for example, there's a widely used um, model which stands 115 feet tall. So we should have also gone up to uh, our Lataya hotel or something, which is a couple stories high and also check the wind speeds there and then they would have been higher. Um, yeah, the trial numbers, we only took 10 trials instead of 20 or 30, which might have reduced the anomalous results of our experiment, and which would have increased the trend. For our questionnaire, we only asked people in two different locations, making our results biased to those secluded areas. Um, also, if we asked a greater number of people, 200 or 300 people in West End, in East End, in small little residential areas, as well as our Lataya downtown. Um, and if we were if we were able to repeat this questionnaire, we would have gone to those areas. We can make a change. So let's try. Okay. <laughs>